Good morning, guys. Sorry, I'm just a few minutes late uh, coming on. I said I'd be on at 10.30 this morning, and I was just enjoying my hot tea, sitting on the couch, um, visiting with my husband this morning, and I realized it was already 10 o'clock and I hadn't been in the shower yet. So you get me without um, all my makeup. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to come to you to show you our optic scarf this morning. Um, several people have talked about it and asked about it uh, this week, either in private messages or um, on the uh, on the party. So I wanted to come and show you the optic scarf because it is a handy tool if you wear eyeglasses or carry a cell phone. That's right. Your optic scarf is not just for your eyeglasses. It is safe for anti-glare. Uh, type surfaces. So you can use it on uh, your cell phone screen, your sunglasses, your eyeglasses. You can even use it on your electronics, your other electronics like your television or your iPad, your tablets, um, those types of things. There are only two cloths that uh, Norwex offers that are anti-glare and that is the tech cloth and the optic scarf. So I'm going to show you the optic scarf and uh, then you can also go and look up the tech uh, cloth so that you can see the differences in the two. This cloth comes on, it's called a scarf, um, because it comes on this handy dandy little claw clip. So you can clip it to um, a bag or purse, a zipper on a backpack, um, you know, on the inside of a bag somewhere so it doesn't end up down in the bottom. You can carry your keys on it, which is what I normally do, because um, it's just really cute. This pattern is not available right now, but um, there are several, I think a total of five different uh, patterns that are available right now, and those are, um, th those change from time to time, so you'll wanna keep up and, and watch for those as you know styles change and colors for the seasons change, so do the optic scarves. So anyway, I wanted to show you, it has like two large squares, kind of the way it's shaped, and it's knotted onto the hook, so it's not going anywhere, which is fantastic. You can just untie this and pull it off to wash it so that you don't have to wash the claw clip section of it, which is also nice, and then you just tie it back on with a simple loop, so not hard at all. The other thing I wanted to point out is that this cloth does not have any seams around the edging of it, and that is just to help prevent it from scratching any surfaces. So Norwex thought of everything whenever they were working on uh, this product, and I love it. So I'm going to take my eyeglasses. I wear eyeglasses whenever I have to drive. You know, my distance vision is not good. So um, most people would say reading glasses, but when I put these on, I can't see you up close. <laughs> so I'm not going to put them on at the moment, but I do want you to see they're really not too bad right now. I actually... Um, these are my spare pair, so I'm going to get them dirty. We're just going to throw some of my chapstick on them so that you can really see. Can you see how dirty those are now? You know, chapstick is kind of gooey, and I'm going to smear it on there a little bit. You really see that. So there's no way I'm going to be able to see anything now if I tried to put these babies on. You would not want me driving down the road. So I'm going to clean these real quick. It's just super fast. You don't use water. You use the optic cloth to dry and you just give it a little rub. That comes off so easy, amazing. And then you're going to see, I should have showed you actually, let me redo that because I want you to see a dirty lens to a clean lens and you can get a better comparison. So let's dirty this other lens back up. Didn't take me long at all to clean them. So there's the dirty lens. You can see the smears, and here's the clean lens. You can see just how clean that is. And what I love about this scarf is that it's very, it's very silky soft, and it will get into like the edges. If you have a frame, like these glasses have a little frame, you can just kind of press across the top there. I'm trying to stay on camera, and get you know the gunk around that. I used this the other day to clean a coworker's eyeglasses. She'd come in, she's like, oh my gosh, my eyeglasses are dirty. And I looked at them and like around the nose piece, 
it was starting to turn green because it had gotten wet, you know, from sweat or rain or something. And so I was able to use the cloth to get in there and even get that green gunk cleaned out. You know, she'd had her glasses for several years and she's like, I need a new pair. I just am waiting for the insurance, you know, to kick in so that I can get them paid for. So I was able to get them really cleaned up for her and she was loving that. Okay, so I do have that dirty one still. Dirty lens, clean lens, you can see the difference. And these are older glasses too, so they do have a couple scratches on them. You might see those. I can't get those off. Um, so there we go, there's eyeglasses. And I mentioned using it on a screen. And you guys remember I showed you the glow germ the other day. I'm gonna try to move you a little closer here. And I'm just gonna show you. Did you know that your uh, cell phone screen can actually be just as dirty as the toilet seat? And that's really gross. Um, we are touching our cell phones all the time. You know, we go into the grocery store and we're pushing the cart that other people have touched and then our phone rings. So we grab our phone, you know, and we're talking on it, putting it up on our face. So the nice thing about the optic scarf is it kills 99% of bacteria and germs from the surface, not only just cleaning and polishing it, um, do you see me use it on my hands? It's just what I do. Um, anyway, I want to show you with a little bit of glow germ, and we're just going to do just a smidge because I got a little overzealous with it the other day, and I made kind of a mess when I did it. So I'm going to try not to do so much. So we're going to turn the light out here so you can see the glow germ. I hope it's dark enough in here, actually. Um, you see? Yeah, you can see that glowing. I'm trying to get my window lines get a little bit darker so you know you come in you go to the grocery store you're touching the screen haha <laughs> it keeps popping on and then you know you touch other things so i've got it on my hand now whatever germ was on the phone is now on my hands and it's on the edges of the phone and we're just going to wipe that up we're going to take our cloth here i'm going to set this down for just a second I don't, I don't have a third hand. I need a third hand. Oh, it's going to get into the crevices. That's funny. So my husband's going to be like, what did you do to my phone? I'm going to have to pull the phone case off. But I'm going to show you. Just wipe that off. Wipe those germs off. The nice thing is this is actually a black phone, so you can see the glow germ even without the light. But I'm going to turn the light back on here in a second because, you know, traces can be still seen. And I'm going to get down in those crevices. So if you have a phone case on there, you do need to think about the crevices and such too. This glow germ just made me remember that. It's like, it's uh, important, you know, to get all the edges and such. 99%, not 100, but 99% of the germs and bacteria is going to come off whenever you use the optic scarf. So, and you may still see just a little bit in the edges there of the phone case, but I want to turn the light off and show you. You don't want to sit here and watch me have to clean that terribly. So now you're going to see... Still a little bit on this case. His case is kind of a funky case. I might actually have to take, huh, got it on my countertop. I might actually have to take um, an Enviro cloth to his case because it has some texture to it so that he doesn't drop it. So let's um, take the case off for a second so I can just clean it a little bit better. I didn't bring my Enviro cloth into the bathroom with me, so shame on me for that. Okay, so this is going to make it a little easier. I'm trying not to get the clasp on here. And let's just wipe that up off the countertop too so when I set it back down, I don't pick it back up. And remember what I told you about the cloths. They pick it up, but they don't put it back on. They hold on to it. Even this tight weave scarf holds on to it until you wash it out. So this scarf... Um, I actually don't wash it very often because it usually stays dry, but with this glow germ, I'm probably going to go and wash it later today. But just hang it to dry and it will purify itself uh, because of that micro silver, just like, um, just like the Enviro cloth. So, all right, we're gonna, oh wow, got a little too close to my stand there. All right, so I wanna show you one more time. Now you can see that the phone is clean now. You don't see that glow germ 
glowing out there. Um, let's see if we can see it on the cloth. We can see it on the cloth. Um, right here for sure. Sorry, I'm trying to aim and right in here. So, oh yeah, right here on the back, it's really glowing. You see that. So you can see how it actually picks all that up. Guys, thanks for watching me this morning. Uh, later today, I am going to be coming to you from my bathroom. I am going to show you how I use the Enviro cloth and water alone to clean the toilet. That's right. We're going to get all of those nasty, stinky germs off of the toilet seat and all around the toilet. And you know how even after you've cleaned the bathroom, it still kind of has that urine odor, especially if you have... Um, people of the opposite sex that live in the house with you. I'm trying to be, um, you know, politically correct or Facebook correct. I don't want to get thrown in jail for saying that um, certain species are gross. But um, anyway, you know how that happens. Well, it's because the uh, urine gets down on the front side of the toilet and it'll get down in those crevices that you can't really reach. So I'm going to show you how we use a product called Mattress Cleaner, um, which is an enzyme-based cleaner to remove the urine that we just can't quite reach. You know, it gets down in those cracks and crevices and it continues to have an odor to it. And another reason that uh, mattress cleaner would be great in the bathroom is if you have carpet in your bathroom. Gross, but some people do have carpet in their bathroom. Some people like it. I don't, I'm not one of those people. Um, I had toddlers once with the, and I had carpet in my bathroom and it was not good when we were potty training. Anyway, the mattress cleaner will help you with that problem if you are a mom that is potty training or if you have animals um, that make mistakes on the carpet because if you're a fur baby mama, you know that happens too and our mattress cleaner is actually a wonderful enzyme product for that. So I'm gonna come to you about 2 p.m. this afternoon to show you my bathroom and um, besides just the toilet cleaning, I'm gonna show you the toilet brush, I'm gonna show you the bath mitt that we have and I'm gonna show you our chenille hand towel. Those are some of my favorite items in the bathroom. So I will see you around two o'clock. Uh, uh, stay dry, stay warm, and see you later. Bye-bye.